Hello everyone! Welcome to another board game video with me, Evil Dr. Ganymede, and today I'm going to show you how to use my new editable text counters mod for Tabletop Simulator. You can find this in the Tabletop Simulator workshop, a link is in the description below. The purpose of this mod is to allow you to add counters showing any text you want to any saved game in Tabletop Simulator. You could use this for a number of purposes, as letters or numbers for a Scrabble-like game, as text representations of other board game pieces, to mark whether pieces have been used or activated, as stand-ins for playtesting, or anything else that springs to mind. In this video I'm going to show you how to find the counters you want, import them into an existing game, and then edit them to whatever you want them to be. First, go ahead and subscribe to the editable text counters mod from the Tabletop Simulator workshop page on Steam, and you should see it appear in your workshop list when you open Tabletop Simulator, like this. There it is. When you open it, you'll see a number of bags with counters in front of them. These all contain the same counters, but with different colour schemes, as you can see. We'll take a look at the actual counters later on. Find the colour scheme you want, and then right click on its bag and select save object and then close the mod. So let's say we want white counter with black text. We select this bag by right clicking and then save object. And then just say OK, save, wherever you want it. Now close this and open up an existing game. Let's open up this test game. So there's nothing on this. We're going to import our counters now. So we go back to the objects menu, saved objects. If you go down here, you will see the white with black text bag. Select that, drag that onto your tabletop. And there it is. Now let's have a look at the counters. Each bag contains the same counters, but they're really just variations of four different types that have different size characters, as shown here. The key thing to understand here is that the text shown on the counters is determined by a script associated with each individual counter. The writing in the middle of the counter is the contents of the name field, and the number in the corner is the contents of the description field. If you right click on the counter, you will see these down here. These can be numbers, letters, or any typeable character. The font cannot be changed. Only the font built into Tabletop Simulator can be used here. And because a script is being used, any changes made to the counters won't appear until a copy is made or a file is saved and reloaded. So let's demonstrate this. If I want to change the CA counter to something else, let's call it DB, and I want to change the number in the corner. What I would do is edit the name and the description on the counter accordingly. So right click the counter, go down to the name and type whatever you want hit DB. And then say I want to change the number to five. So you see it hasn't changed the contents of the counter yet. It is there, you can see it in the fields here, but you have to make a copy of the counter for it to actually show up. And there's the copy and that has db and 5 in the name and description field. If you make more copies of this without changing it, it's still going to be db5. Similarly, on the other counters, you just do the same thing. I want to change this to a z and I want to change that to 25. Again, it doesn't change the original counter, but if I make a copy of the counter by either right clicking and going to copy or just pressing Ctrl C and then Ctrl V to paste it, you see it says Z25 now. And just to demonstrate again, let's say I want to call this a missile or something, so MSL. 
So I can use capital letters. And then if I want to change the number down here, let's say I even want to change it to a letter. Let's call it H. Again, no change on the original, but if I copy and paste it, we have the new name and description showing up there. Also note that the counters are single sided. In the mod itself, there's a double sided counter to show you how that works, but that's for people who are more experienced in tabletop simulator scripting, so we'll leave that for now. But it is there and you can load it up in the original mod and have a look at it if you know how all that works. The other thing to note is that the background color at least of the counters is fixed because it's loaded from an image file. You can theoretically change the color but you would have to make your own image file and replace the existing background and that's beyond the scope of this video. Also I mentioned that you know if you save the file then this will also save the new information. So if I overwrite this and then reload it, you will see that not only are the new counters that I copied and pasted still here, but the original counters that I edited as well have now got the new information on them. So that should be it. If you have any comments or suggestions, then please leave them in the comments section below or on the Steam Workshop page for the mod. If you found this video useful, then please like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button to know when I post a new video. And that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Ta-ta!